What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA Alien Covenant, the Neomorph. Here we do have the Neomorph in the packaging, you can see it does come with an alternate head and the infant form of the Neomorph. And I have to say, really, really loving this packaging of the concept art of the Xenomorph. I honestly think this is how the Xenomorph should have looked in the movie. And then we have some more concept art of the Neomorph. Again thinking this this is what it should have looked like in the movie I'm just saying the, what it is and then on the back of the we do have a little read up from the Neomorph and it just explains how it's the prequel to Alien and the sequel to Prometheus but we do have an image of the Neomorph here as well as some more concept art really really excited about this figure so what we're gonna do now is take a little break get it open up and we'll go on to the rest of the review, so sit tight everyone. And so here we have the Neomorph posing out of the packaging. Before we get onto the figure, let's actually show off its accessories. It actually does come with the baby Neomorph that we saw coming out of, well, virtually two people's bodies. And it's a really nice little sculpt. There's really not too much detail on it other than, you know, all the blood. You can kind of sort of make out its mouth. And then its little spines are... A softer plastic which is a good thing it does have a little bit of articulation the head does swivel all the way around I do like the fact that the head is more of a dome than the crest that we see when it's uh, fully matured so there is that and as you would expect it really doesn't stand on its own I guess no nope, mine isn't gonna be standing anytime soon mine does not stand which that's actually not surprising but really nice little figure Nice little accessory. Uh, he's probably going to stay in the box or a spare parts bin. The other accessory that the Neomorph does come with is this alternate head. Now, versus the head that he has on him right now, you can kind of guess which one I'm going to be going with. I'm going to be going with the open mouth head. and It's a really nice sculpt on both of them. Let's just show this one off really fast. You can see its teeth are in its mouth. They did a really good job painting that. It's just a really creepy looking uh, alien. You can see the crest right here goes out with all these little lines and just really creepy looking. And let's actually take a look at the Neomorph in hand. You can see they did a really good job designing the mouth. And I actually saw a little documentary on this where they showed how the mouth works. It's almost like a goblin shark, so the jaws just protrude out and snap. So I th thought that that little thing was really interesting. So we look at the xenomorph or at the neomorph, excuse me. I do like that the spines on its back are a softer plastic, at least the larger ones. You get to this one and that's a really hard plastic as well as these little ones closest to the body. Those are hard plastic. And let's just take a look at its creepy... Just the physi physiology, is that the way it's, it's pronounced? I, I'm not an English major. But just look at how creepy it looks. Like I remember showing this to my brother and he's all, that thing is so creepy. And he hasn't even seen the movie so he doesn't even know exactly how creepy these things really get but really loving it you can see all the muscular going down and all the fiber it looks it doesn't even look like it has skin it looks like that's just exposed muscle you get to its feet and you can see it has five digits right here plus an extra toe its hands are also six digit you can see it has a thumb plus five fingers just really creepy and it's really lanky. We go on to the tail and it looks like there's just a really thin layer of skin going throughout the tail which just makes it even more creepy and bizarre. I actually did enjoy the movie. I'm in the minority about that. I know there's a lot of people that didn't like it. But like I said, I enjoyed the movie for what it was. It was an alien movie. I, I, I enjoyed it. So here we have a look at the Neomorph and let's move on to his articulation. In case you can't tell from the alternate head, he has a ball hinge 
in the head so we do get some left and right movement a little bit of tilt on him not the best so I'm gonna say it's non existent same with back and forth but we do get some articulation on that hinge and it works really well and he can look down about that far look up about that far so that's pretty good range and like I said does give us left and right movement arms go out only to about that far they don't go any further than that and I don't know if you can make this out but it is designed so that the shoulders kind of protrude forward so it, when you rotate it it kind of goes off at an angle but the rotation is there it has a swivel right above the elbow single joint in the elbow which gives us 90 degrees almost exactly we also do get a hinge in the wrist which look at just how creepy that hand is we do have a ball joint in the torso which just like the xenomorph works really well we get some side to side movement some swivel so well, that's pretty good the legs are a little hindered because of the sculpt they only go out to about that far at least in this stage if you have the leg more outward you can see the hip bone does allow some further range but its legs actually do go all the way around so that's actually pretty interesting just note the location of the hip joint and or the hip bone and you'll be okay double joint in the knee we do have a bend there and there we have a swivel up here in the thigh as well as down here at the knee we do have a hinge in the ankle which works really well going back not so much going forward but we do get some rocker ankle and a hinge in the toe we also do get a wireframe tail so we can have that pose any way you want so really do like that but that's the Neomorph for you guys. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get on pose for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have the Neomorph pose for my final thoughts. One thing I did forget to show off is a size comparison between the Neomorph and the Xenomorph. That's the Xenomorph for you right there. And then the Xenomorph just towers over this thing. So if that gives you any indication on the size, that Neo, the Neomorph is dwarfed by the Xenomorph. I kind of wish the movie had like Xenomorph versus Neomorph and they just fought to the death and the Xenomorph would win in the end. But that's just me. I think that would have made a much better movie than what we actually got. But like I said, I still enjoyed the movie and really do enjoy these figures. I'm not sure if I'll pick up the creature pack, but as it stands, I really do like the Neo and Zeo Xenomorph. With that being said, guys, I did pick these guys up at Toys R Us, and Toys R Us was selling them for about $22, $24 with tax. That's standard for NECA figures, so I was okay paying that. If you can find the Neomorph, definitely pick him up. It's a really nice figure, and you can have him on your shelf. He makes for a great conversation piece. Just have him there, and somebody's going to go, Hey, what's that thing? And you can show it off and creep them out. But anyway... With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000 saying don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. I have new reviews every weekday, so you can check those out. As always, go ahead and check out this video as well as all my other toy reviews. All my other NECA alien reviews are also up. I don't have too many, but what I do have, I hope you guys enjoy. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.